Hey, hon, welcome. Okay, uh, what lens should you pick to start for uh, SLR photography? Well, again, I'm not a professional or anything. I'm like everybody else, just a prosumer type of thing. But I've done a bit of work with these ca with this camera and stuff like that. And I got two lenses here, and they're both, you know, zoom lenses, uh, that type of thing, telephoto lens. Uh, I don't have any fixed focal length lens to show you, but you can research that for yourself. So it really, you're going to pick your lenses to pay, uh, to, depending on what kind of photography you want to do. If you're going to be doing nature photography, chances are you're going to be further away from your subject. So something like a 70 to 300 will be very good if that's all you're going to do. The limitations is that you never have a very wide angle. So the, the, the thing is, is if you are close to your subject, that lens is usually a better secondary lens than a first, although you'll use it mostly when you're, you know, you know, going after, like, say, taking pictures of birds or whatever, uh, that type of thing. And it also has a macro feature. Now, if you're doing macro photography, uh, then you might want to get a dedicated, say, like, 60 millimeter macro lens or something like that, which will get you, you know, like, basically you could take pictures of bugs with it. <laughs> it's amazing how, how, how much you can, how close you can get to the subject and get extreme close-up photography with a macro feature. So you might want some sort of a macro lens. Now, more generalized photography, again, let's say you need the jack of all trades. Well, I got an 18 to 70 millimeter here. That does pretty much everything. If, if you can only afford one lens, that would probably be the better one to get. Uh, it just does everything. You don't have to carry around a whole bunch of different lenses. There are trade-offs. Again, zoom lenses tend to not work quite as well. Low light, you'll have to resort to flash and stuff like that. But for most people, they're not doing, you know, they're not making a living with it. Uh, now, let's say you just do landscape. Well, an 18 or a 24 mil, you can even get like wider angle than that. I think like 12 and 14 are like fisheye type of thing. Uh, so you don't want to take fisheye photography in every single uh, photo. Uh, but you, those would be the, you know, landscape. You're going to go to, like, say, like a farmhouse and you want to get the cows in the field and, and the mountains in the background. The 18 to 24 is kind of where you're going to be. Uh, maybe you're going to just be doing landscape, but you want a little bit closer depth of field which we'll talk about in a different video, uh, a 24 or say a, a 35. The 35 mil being probably the more popular of the two will probably be better for somebody who wants to be able to take pictures of their friends sitting across the table. It's wide angle enough for your four friends are sitting there. You could still get them in the, into the frame across the table from you. You might have to back up a bit. You, you, could, you could still do fairly close up, uh, you know, portrait type of photography. And it's still good enough to be the jack of all trades to be able to get, you know, fairly, you know, take a picture of the farmhouse with the cows and the fields and the mountains in the background. Uh, so that's kind of the jack of all trades. Uh, it's a good starter lens. I've had one, or I had the 50 mil. I can't remember. Uh, but there's limitations. Uh, you have to move closer or further from your subject. Uh, but again, fixed focal length uh, lenses tend to be sharper. Uh, the other one is a straight 50 mil, but that's more if you're going to be like pretty much doing portrait or more close up, uh, you know, depth of field that you want, like. Uh, you, you know, like you got two people standing beside a car or something like that, uh, you know, 10 feet away from you. The 50 mil is good for that. Uh, but it starts to get a little bit too close. So you got three people sitting across the table from you. The 50 might not be quite wide enough to catch everybody in the in, in that angle and you'll have to back up. So a 50 is good for portrait, but you're now you're, you're moving towards that more narrow field. And then 70, well, a 60, uh, 60 or 65 mil, I think is like, ma it's a special macro. And then 70 is just, you know, you're beginning to telephoto that type of thing so that gives you an idea of where what range of of lenses you can buy and where where you would use them uh so you want to put the thought into what kind of photography you're going to do most people will be happy with some sort of a zoom lens you will give up a little bit of sharpness for that and it might not work quite as well in low light as uh other lenses but they're very useful and to be able to zoom in and zoom out makes your job a lot easier the trade-off is pictures slightly less sharp but other than that they're usually sharp enough so uh yeah there we go so uh if you get a, the the wider the focal length 
uh, on uh, your cameras, usually the, the more trade-off you're going to have and that type of thing. So if low light is your real thing, then you need uh, fixed focal length lenses. All right, there we go.